Welcome to Unlocking the Word. I'm Candy McKean. I'm honored that you are here listening to this podcast. It's my desire that this podcast will become a tool in your life to help you learn and grow in your devotional time with the Lord. This is episode two, so hopefully you've already listened to the first episode. If not, you'll want to stop this podcast and go back to and listen to the first one. It has some instructions and things that you will need to follow along with the podcast. Now let's begin our devotional. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for this opportunity to study and read your word. Now will you illuminate your scriptures and will you speak to our heart and show us what you want to show us today. In Jesus' name. The passage I'll be reading from will be Mark chapter 1, verses 12 through 20. I will be reading out of the New Living Translation version, but any version that you have will be just fine. The Spirit then compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness, where he was tempted by Satan for forty days. He was out among the wild animals, and the angels took care of him. Later on, after John was arrested, Jesus went into Galilee, where he preached God's good news. The time promised by God has come at last, he announced. The kingdom of God is near. Repent of your sins and believe in the good news. One day, as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, Jesus saw Zebedee's sons, James and John, in a boat repairing nets. He called them at once, and they also followed him, leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men. Look back over the passage we just finished reading. Was there any verse that stood out to you? The first verse that stood out to me was the verse 15, where Jesus said, Repent of your sins and believe the good news. What is your verse? Write it out in your journal. Remember to hit the pause button at any point if you need a little bit more time to write something out. Now that we have the verse that spoke to us, let's make some observation about this passage by asking some questions. I will be asking you the questions, and to the best of your ability, write the answers down in your journal. So let's begin. Who? Who is in this passage? The main person we see is Jesus, but who else? And who are they? What? What is the subject or the events that is taking place in this passage? In this passage, there are three different things going on. What are they? When? When is this passage taking place? Sometimes identifying if there's a special festival or holiday can give us a time reference and its importance of the events in the scriptures. Where? Where did this happen? Or where will it happen? Where was it said? Why? Why is something being said or mentioned? Why would or will these events happen? How? How will it happen? How is it to be done? How is this illustrated? Look back over the passage. Are there any repeated words or any commands that you can see?
Now that you've made your own observations, I'm going to share with you some of mine. The first thing I noticed is the three different events taking place. It started with Jesus going into the wilderness. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days and was ministered to by the angels. There is so much in this passage that can speak to us, but it was not the verse that stood out to me the most, so I'm not going to dwell on that at this time. I will go back later on when I have some more time to really dig into the scriptures and I will do another study on this passage, but it wasn't the one that stuck to me. The next passage mentions John the Baptist being arrested and Jesus begins his preaching ministry. Then it jumps to Jesus calling for his disciples to follow him. Just by recapping, we've covered most of the who, which is Jesus, the devil, John the Baptist, Simon, John, and James. These events also covered the what. When was not really mentioned except that Jesus began proclaiming the gospel after John the Baptist was arrested. To answer where, we know that Jesus was called out into the wilderness, and then he ended up in Galilee. The bigger question that we need to answer is why. Why is this being written? It is because the author wanted us as the readers to know Jesus, the Messiah. Which leads us to the next question. How? How is the author conveying his message? And we're going to be seeing, as we read on the book of Mark, different stories about Jesus. And Mark wrote it just this way because he wanted us to be able to see and understand who Jesus was and that he was the Messiah that was promised to come. Now that we've completed our observations, what does this passage mean? Look at the passage that you wrote down. What is it saying? What does this mean to you personally? Are there any truths you need to put into practice? What changes should you make in your life? Is there any encouragement or correction? Remember, I mentioned earlier that the verse that stood out to me was verse 15. This was something being spoken by Jesus. He was saying, repent from your sins and believe the good news. The good news is also another word for the gospel. So Jesus is asking his people, he's asking me to repent and to believe in the gospel. In the last episode, I shared about the scripture that spoke to me, and that was mostly about repentance. So it continues here as well, to repent. But now there's a new instruction. That is to believe in his gospel, the good news that he has come. But as I look back at the first part of this verse, it actually starts out saying, the time promised by God has come at last, he announced. So the question became, why can I believe Jesus? It is because God keeps his promises. I can believe in the gospel because he is the only one who can keep his promises. There will be moments when man will fail us, but God will never fail me. That is amazing. And that is powerful. And this is what the verse had spoken to me. Remember, what God speaks to you is not going to be the same that God speaks to me. I just wanted to share with you what I got out of the scripture during a devotional reading. And it's amazing. 
Because once you start having God speak to you through his word, the more and more you study and the more and more you read, the more and more that you are going to be drawn to the word and it's going to become life and you're going to become excited to read again. So how about you? What did God speak to you through this passage reading? If you would like to share with me what you have received during this scripture reading, you can do so by going to my website at candymckee.com, and that's C-A-N-D-Y-M-C-K-E-E.com. Under podcasts, there will be the scripture reference of Mark chapter 1, verses 12 through 20, and you can leave me a comment there, and feel free to share. As we enter devotional time, write out your prayer to the Lord. Share your heart with him. Talk to him about the things that he showed you in his scriptures. This is your time to communicate to the Lord because he's already communicated to you. pray over the things that the Lord had showed me. God, first of all, thank you for keeping your promises to your people. You kept your promises at the price of your son because you loved me too. Jesus, I choose to believe in your good news, that you came as a man and you took sin upon yourself so that I can be in relationship with the Father. Holy Spirit, help me in these times of unbelief and doubt. Thank you for the reminder that it is a choice to believe. Lord, I love you and I praise you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining me in this podcast. I pray it's been beneficial to you in your devotional time. It's kind of exciting to think about that there's someone else to do devotionals with. So if you would like, again, please feel free to visit my website at candymckee.com under podcasts and find the link to this uh, particular passage that we've discussed and leave your comments and share with me what God is speaking to you. I would really like to see that if, if you're willing to share. Thank you again for listening and join me next time as we continue on our studies in the book of Mark.